Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Life Sutra. In this video, we are going to talk about Patanjali and how it is using its brand image to mislead Indian consumers. Let's begin. First, it started out with just edible products. Then it rapidly entered into other product streams with instant success. But like every other thing that is too good to be true, the success of Patanjali makes me question how is this even possible? How can a brand step into a particular product stream and gain instantly over market share from those companies who have been there for more than 25 years? The companies that have been continuously working upon improving their brand image bringing more and more value to their customers through continuous research and development. How can we be sure that there has been done enough research behind each and every product that Patanjali has come up within a short span of 2 or 3 years? This just points to one thing. The success of Patanjali is directly related to the trust Indians have developed on Baba Ramdev. Though there are a lot of consumers that are happy with Patanjali products, there cannot be a guarantee that people can trust other products of Patanjali too. Patanjali advertises its product as completely Ayurvedic products. If you flip over the product, it contains the details of ingredients. Reading on, you realize that there is a different story. The image shows Patanjali's Kesh Kanti. Notice how it starts with composition of Ayurvedic herbs. Then, the base is in English with all the chemicals. Looking at the base material, we find Methylizothiazolino, a chemical associated with allergies and nerve damage. Sorbic acid, which has a strong evidence as human skin toxicant. It also has sodium benzonate. Combining sodium benzonate with vitamin E results in cancerous effects. The FDA says it's safe because the amount used to preserve food is very low but don't ever combine it with vitamin C or E as this causes benzene to be formed. This is dangerous because benzene is a known carcinogen which means it causes cancer. A lot of people say that Patanjali noodles are healthy because it is made up of only atta. They might be wrong. Looking at the picture of Patanjali's noodle ingredient list, the first ingredient is refined wheat flour that is maida. And the second one is Atta. A test was carried out on samples of Patanjali noodles, Maggi and Yippee collected from Meerut on 5th February last year. Chief Food Safety Officer J.P. Singh was quoted as saying that Patanjali Atta noodles had 2.69% of ash content, which is the highest in all three brands, whereas the permissible limit of the ash content according to law is 1%. You might not know this, but Patanjali honey is not FSSAI approved and may contain high dosage of sugar or saccharin. A test performed on Patanjali ghee reveals the presence of vanaspati and added color matter in the ghee. A bottle of Trifala powder from local Patanjali store does not have any information on the label about the contents of the bottle. Most of the product sold under Patanjali brand are just marketed by Patanjali. If you look at the description of the odd 300 plus products, you will see that most of them are manufactured by a third company and is just marketed by Baba Ramdev. There is nothing Ayurvedic about them. For example, Patanjali biscuits are manufactured by Sona Biscuits Private Limited. In the end, I would like to say that this is not a video against Patanjali or Baba Ramdev. I am not trying to imply that you should not buy such products. But what I am trying to point out is that you should do your part as an aware consumer before trusting any product in the market. Do not let the marketing techniques used by Patanjali fool you into believing that their product is completely Ayurvedic and harmless. When the truth is that their products are majorly comprised of chemical base which may or may not be beneficial depending upon person to person. Because when it comes to Patanjali, Baba Ramdev is none other than a businessman whose aim is to maximize the market share. We insist on sharing this video as much as you can. Let me know what do you think in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please like this video, share this video and if you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Keep smiling, don't forget to be awesome and I'll catch you later.